modern military unit on patrol. The vigilant personnel are alert and on the lookout for the enemy. A familiar sight in ancient Japan, too, when samurai would keep watch for intruders sneaking into their camp or castle. On this episode of Ninja Quest, the crafty clandestine tricks of the shinobi. My name is Chris K. I'm on a mission to learn the real skills of the ninja and samurai. A ninja is infiltrating an enemy compound to steal secret information. The agent must choose the right time to strike. It's raining. The patter of raindrops will provide perfect cover for the mission. A guard is on a routine patrol. The guard carries a torch to illuminate dimly lit areas looking for spies. Shadowy sectors are inspected to root out anyone who has infiltrated the grounds. The initial search party is followed by a dark patrol. That's a secondary unit who creep around without any torches, hoping to catch a ninja off guard. Once inside, a ninja has to move silently and employs some unique methods of moving around without arousing attention. Shinobi are known for using caltrops to stop pursuers in their tracks. No matter which way the barbs land, a spike is always facing upward. But makibishi can also be used to outwit a ninja. However, a special sliding step can nullify that countermeasure. To complete the mission, the ninja has one more sentry to bypass. The shinobi needs to be patient. After a while, the guard becomes lazy, bored, and tired. This is the ideal time to slip past the inattentive lookout. On this episode of Ninja Quest, we've examined how ninja avoid samurai patrols, overcome crafty defenses, and choose the right time to slip past a guard. 